you'll probably hear because you're getting very frustrated you can't get into your account perhaps you're getting no emails from epic and in particular the 2fa and you're presented with this wonderful box screen where you've got to put your 2fa code that never comes so i'm here to share how i solved it for myself i'm not saying 100 percent this is going to work for you it's not about patience it's not about making sure that your spam folder is clear there's no emails from epic in your spam folder i presume you've done all these things after probably reading for a long time online so you know be patient i waited six days there was still no email two check your spam folder might be in there failing all that what do you do you go to epic and you raise a ticket and then you wait and you wait and you wait and pot look they might reply they didn't reply to me i waited four days now i think they are particularly busy at the moment i also went on chat by the way i actually was able to get on chat and he just referred me to a contact form and I did say to him at the time, I've just filled in the form, but I don't have a case ID. I don't have any correspondence. And he was like, that's OK, just wait. So I waited, as I said, day after day after day, nothing came. So why did I have all these issues? So I basically allowed my son's friend who popped around for a play date. They wanted to play Fortnite. And I was like, right, OK, well, you can play on my account so they can play together. So he then went on my account and then it asked for a date of birth. Well, rather than put my date of birth in, given it's my account, he put his own in, which makes my account a 12 year old's account. And I thought was quite amused at first until I realized there's no way in the account section of where you can actually put your proper age or change it. I mean, you know, we all are human, we all make mistakes and it appeared the only way of changing my date of birth is to contact Epic and raise a ticket, which I have done. I did that about four or five days ago, but it's not been answered as yet. I am sure that Epic are inundated with people doing the same thing and just goes to show if there was a simple way to firstly perhaps verify uh, that the age is correct via email, first of all, as it's going to have such an impact on the account, that would have been a good thing. Or alternatively, allow the user to change the code via, uh, change the date of birth via parental control PIN number. Anyway, I'm not going to go on about it. But I was at the point where I was getting no emails from Epic whatsoever. And this was the screen that I got. Now, interestingly, I tried to log in via Xbox as opposed to the Epic account. So you can see here, there's these boxes where you have to put the verification code in. There's supposed to be an email here. I didn't realize this until it actually worked for me and I'll show you how I, I got it to work, okay? So let's just move on to my next screen. If I can move this one out of the way. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's me just searching. Hopefully searching and searching and searching for um, something. So you're presented with this screen. Um, let's bear with me. So basically, you press sign in. You're then presented with this screen here. Okay, so there's lots of optional ways to sign in. So you could possibly sign in with Epic or if you're a PlayStation user, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, etc. Whatever you use to sign up for the account. We've got Apple there. I'm not sure why Apple's there because I don't think Apple is even Fortnite or whatever. Anyway, so... I was using this. I was using Xbox Live. I was trying to log in via Xbox Live. I was too worried about trying to sign in with Epic after all these problems. So when I press this to sign in, it would then take me to... Uh, 
to that box screen wherever I've put that now. I've got so many screens open, to be honest. Um, to this screen. So take me to this screen. Okay, so this is what I did to solve it. So I decided to completely reset the password on my account, first of all. So I went here. I then went to this screen here, okay? I then clicked forget my password, forget forget your password. I reset it to my Xbox password because I was like, I don't want any issues here, you know, of, not, of it not unlinking or so forth. Right, so I was able to get in. So then I got myself logged in, which was fab. That's a start though. And I thought I'm still not going to be able to get through the TFA. And surprise, surprise, I wasn't. Surprise, surprise, I got to this again. So I was like, right, okay, I've reset my password and I'm still getting this TFA issue. What was really super weird as well was that I was able to... Um, I was semi logged in. Now, this is why I'm not sure if the solution will work for you. Um, but I could see things like I, I could see my account, I could see um, various things. But every time I went to my account, it would take me to that box again. So it must have it was some sort of cookie issue going on there. So what I did was I put V books into the store can i do that no i can't do that there that's a previous recording this is all my attempts at trying to um i put v books here i then scrolled down because i couldn't find the six pound 49 is it's below the fold so i then clicked this da -da, and buy now It then asked me to sign in. So then I signed in with my Epic Games. In with my pass, my email and my password that I just reset. It then logged me in. I was then able to buy the V-Bucks through my PayPal account. Following that, I then got hit. Now, I was able to successfully buy it but I couldn't go to my account. So when I went to my account, it sent me the TFA, but the box had gone. That box had gone, and I now had an email address here, sent to them my email address. And it actually sent it me. It sent me the 2FA, and I was able to log in from there. So the purchase must have shifted something in the system and it started sending me, you know, the um, everything. And it was all absolutely fine after that. And then I, I'm in two minds whether to turn the whole like TFA thing off because I don't want that to happen again. It was very stressful to think that I can't get into my Epic account. I haven't checked on my Xbox yet to make sure that it's all okay and linking okay. The other thing I did, which was very important, is once I actually got in to my account, I started to save all the information in there because if you do ever get hacked or you're locked out, you have to supply all this information such as when the account was opened, any purchases, um, anything you've bought, all, all this information that to be quite honest, you wouldn't really know. So I took all of that information off and I've emailed it to myself. I also took photographs of everything in my locker um, in Fortnite. I took photographs of all the skins. And I mean, I've got skins. I started to play Fortnite um, in season nine. So I've got loads of stuff. Um, so yeah, so basically I took photographs of everything that I've got. I took down all the information from my account. So that if I'm ever in this problem again, I've got evidence that the account is mine and also um because i noticed that if people had you know lost their email or couldn't get into their email or anything it looked like a lot of hassle and stress 
to get the email changed by Epic and they required a lot of information. So I do think it will be worth you getting that when you get in the account um, just in case it ever happens again and then you've got all the evidence you need to show that it's your account. So I hope that, um, that I explained that really super easy. I will just put some quick a quick synopsis of what I did in the description so that you can follow it. And if you've got any questions, please post in the comments. And if you can get in, please post in the comments because it will be lovely to know. And if you can't, please also post because that will help other people. Take care. Bye-bye.